as California votes to become sanctuary state to defy Trump, locals tragically discover what that may. California has long been a hotbed destination for illegal immigrants. For years, the state legislators have turned a blind eye to illegal immigrants invading California, and many local officials in various counties are more than willing to cooperate. In an effort to stem the tide of illegal immigration into the United States of America, President Trump and Attorney General Jeff Sessions have said they will not give grant money to any city that harbors illegal immigrants. In response, the city of Chicago sued the Department of Justice, and a U.S. district judge ruled that Attorney General Jeff Sessions can't withhold grant money from sanctuary cities. This decision is likely to go before the Supreme Court, and while this decision progresses, the state of California is set to hold a vote on whether or not to become a sanctuary state and openly defy federal immigration laws. The state of California has been plagued by a series of murders committed by illegal immigrants. These are murders which could have been prevented if the state of California and local officials had followed the law. The murder of Kate Steinle was a high-profile case which put the sanctuary city of San Francisco on the map. An illegal immigrant who used a stolen police firearm murdered Kate Steinle. In another incident where an illegal immigrant used a stolen police firearm, illegal immigrant Eric Garcia Pineda murdered community volunteers Abel Esquif during a robbery attempt. The sad part about both of these cases is they could have easily been prevented, and after they happened, the city of San Francisco has remained steadfast in their defiance of President Trump and federal immigration law. In the case of Eric Garcia Pineda, federal agents were monitoring his whereabouts and at one point had him in custody, but because he was let go by a federal judge who required him to wear an electronic monitoring device and check in, he was free to commit murder. Not surprisingly Mr. Garcia Pineda removed his electronic tracking device and never showed up for his check-in appointments. In spite of all the carnage caused by illegal immigrants in the state of California, state legislators have now passed sanctuary state legislation. The legislation directs local police departments not to cooperate with federal authorities and increases protections for illegal immigrants. In essence, it is illegal legislation condoning the violation of federal immigration law and puts California residents in increased danger. This sanctuary state legislation also dictates that local police are not allowed to ask someone about their immigration status when they are arrested. The left's obsession with allowing illegal immigrants into the United States of America is not surprising. For liberals illegal immigrants more people who can vote, with the thinking that if illegal immigrants outnumber citizens who are legally allowed to vote, Democrats can further commit voter fraud. For the rest of America this is significant since the state carries 55 electoral votes. Meaning, if California gets its way, this sanctuary state legislation could steal a presidential election. Based on what was released by WikiLeaks about the DNC and Hillary Clinton, fixing a presidential race with illegal immigrants is not an outlandish idea. To understand the dire situation California is in and the amount of illegal immigrants in California, look no further than a recent ICE operation in the state which resulted in the arrest of 188 illegal immigrants over the course of five days. Melissa Quinn from the Washington Examiner reported, most of those targeted had prior convictions for drug offenses or drunk driving. Fifteen had been convicted of sex crimes and another 27 for domestic violence, according to ICE. The individuals who were deported over the course of this five-day operation all would have received protection from the state of California under their newly adopted sanctuary state legislation. Rapists, murderers, drunk drivers, all people who were at will to kill again thanks to state legislators in California who are more interested in holding public office than actually protecting the public. If the Trump administration does not crack down on this blatant violation of federal immigration law, more innocent Americans are going to be killed and our elections will be severely compromised.